What's happening, hooligans? It's your boy Andy E. In today's video, we got a short one for you today. It's not gonna be too long. It's real simple, nothing crazy. But today, we're opening the mini mystery tackle box. My wife saw this at Walmart when we were shopping. I convinced her to let me go to the fishing section. She's like, yeah, let's go. And so we saw it and she just picked it up and threw it in the basket. One, because orange is her favorite color, and two, she thinks the mini mystery tackle box is cute. So we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing today. It has a pool tab right here, but there's tape covering it. That works. All right, sweet. Let's go ahead and give it a little dump here. Sweet, sweet, okay. So, first thing, it gives you these little crappie hooks. That's pretty freaking cool. Um, it gives you also these Lake Fork trophy lures. Um, these are pretty freaking sweet. Let's see. Not gonna lie, I might use these for trout too. These always stink, hold on. Oh, they don't. Interesting. Hear that? I just can't smell. It says they're garlic and salt impregnated, but look at these tiny little swim baits. Look at that. They got a rigid body, so it gives it that swimming action. That's pretty freaking cool, man. I like these a lot. That black with the greenish slash clear color at the bottom. And it's got what looks to be gold sparkles. Gold and silver. That's saucy. I'm going to have to use these for a trout fishing or a pan fishing. And the last bait, Carl's Amazing Baits, uh, the Golden Boy. It's a little crankbait, three to five feet. This thing's freaking cool, man. It looks like the one I caught my PB on. Except I think that one was, I think it was an H2O Express bait that looked very similar. Well, I don't know. This It could have been one of these. But I'm pretty sure it's H2O Express. Very light rattles. Nothing too crazy. This thing's freaking sweet. Um, if you haven't fished a crankbait before, um, it's three to five feet, so you'll cast it somewhat into the shallows. You can either slow crank it or speed crank it, whichever one you want. But essentially, this is going to be swimming down like this, and it's going to be bumping into those rocks. Just bumping into them and bouncing off them rocks. And uh, essentially kicking up dirt and creating a feeding bluegill slash bait fish effect that's gonna get these bass riled up. During the winter time, I actually caught a bunch of bass on a crankbait, um, just slow cranking it, just giving it a slow retrieve. When you think you're going slow, go slower. And basically it was just swimming ever so lightly like this, and it's still gonna get to that depth, it's just not gonna get there as fast. And the winter bite for these is very subtle. You'll be cranking it, and then all of a sudden it'll just get real heavy, and then you just kind of give it a quick one of these. And sure enough, there's a, there'll be a fish at the end of it. It also comes with a sticker. That's pretty rad. Look at that. At the, I think it's supposed to be a jig head? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a bass boxing a jig head. Look at that. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. Um, and then it tells you, it gives you like a what's inside and it tells you little details about it, things of that nature. Um, and on the other side, it just gives you like three areas to target to catch more fish. And it says lay downs, docks, weeds, and vegetation. Great spots. Bass like cover, that's cover. So I think we paid like... 10 bucks for this, I think. Don't quote me on that. The value of it's basically double that. Cause this crank, a crankbait like this is probably like five bucks. This is another five bucks. The hooks, probably another five bucks. Muffin. That's gonna cut it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Fishing Mission Hooligans. Have a happy new year. Peace.